God is going to speak to you through that entire section. We're going to focus right now on verse 6 and 7. It says, I'm just going to read that part again. Therefore, as you have received Jesus Christ the Lord, so walk in him rooted. How many of you have a garden? How many of you like to, to do things like that, plant things? Okay, I just, I don't know if you've heard me before. I am not that person. Do not ask me to help you. I will give you advice, but don't ask me to help you. I don't know what the advice is. I will make it up as we go. <laughs> but I am not good with greenery at all. Amen. We've lived in, ah, uh, no amen. We've lived in our house <clears throat> almost two, about, a little over two years, or almost two years. Everything's dead almost. Almost everything in the backyard is dead. I blame the sun, but I know that I probably should have done more to make those things survive. Okay, I just can't look at it and hope that it will do well. I can't talk to it and hope it will just rise and shine the next morning, correct? But there's something about greenery and about being rooted. Did you know one of the most important things about being rooted is that the roots absorb water and nutrients. That's what they do. So if you go across the street to the nursery and you buy something and you take it home, and you leave it in the back of your truck for about a week, that thing's done. You spend a lot of money for nothing. But you have to immediately take that off the back of your truck and begin to plant it. You have to begin to dig a spot and get it in there deep into the soil. Because that plant needs water and nutrients right away. Paul says in this letter to the church, he says, once you receive Jesus Christ as Lord, walk in him rooted. Walk in him rooted. You see, accepting Jesus as your Savior is not the end of the process. It's not you come to church, something moves in your heart, you raise your hand and say, I want what that is, and then walk away and say, I'm good. I got what I needed, I'm good. It doesn't end there. It's the very beginning of a process. And Paul tells the church, you have to walk in him now. And you have to be rooted. 